guys. As all of you know, I'm Bad Frosty here to one here for another video, whole series, and I this is actually like a, a, a ninety nine a ninety six percent real theory. It's like almost fact. And yeah, now this theory sorry guys. Now this theory I have a sore throat, so if my voice sounds a little weird, um yeah. <coughs> Sorry! Okay, so this theory occurs with Spongebob and Bikini Bottom. Now, I know there's that joke I made. Bikini Bottom. Spongebob Square Pants. Bikini Bottom. Now, Bikini Bottom, you think the actors were just like, oh yeah, Bikini Bottom, get it. Bikini and then a bottom, the bottom of the girl's butt, basically. Get it. You know, a comedy little joke. Well... It's supposed to be a joke, and there's actually a real island called Bikini Atoll. Not most of you have heard of that island. It's an item, an island. But the thing is, so they basic, so basically, if SpongeBob was real, it's basically. Wait a minute, I gotta go shut my bathroom door. Okay, so basically, what I'm trying to say is there's a real iron called Bikini Atoll. Now, you be, and now, this is the theory of how, okay, you know, okay, so if you don't know, Bikini Atoll, once in the, um, in like, in like the olden days, they used to set off, like, nuclear, let's boost up. They, they used to set off nu nuclear bombs there and like stuff to test out in the war to see how power they full, power, power, powerful they were in the war. So they actually tested out a bunch of nuclear bombs and the animals are still living there. So the, so the nuclear bombs like, like like poisoned the animals and that's the reason why they would they can now talk. So now since since all those crazy bombs and explosions went off, the animals under there had these weird things, and that's why some of the animals in Bikini Bottom like 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 look crazy in Rock Bottom and stuff like that. That's because and and how they can talk. That's because that now Sandy at the time wasn't there. Sandy is from Texas. She's from the United States. She's not from water. So I don't know. I mean, a theory has all their twists and turns. Um, this is not my theory. I didn't make it up. Um, it was from another person. I forgot name. Sorry. Um, but yeah. So this is where it gets a little twisted and turning. I don't know how. There's no explosion to Texas. I don't know how Sandy can talk, but she's basically a school. Now you know how she, the whole scientist thing was Sandy. Sandy is a scientist. So if Sandy went into the oh my god, I really I would really like 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 really like like, like mind blowing music like <laughs> like that like how the theorizer have is he has like guys those mind blowing music so like oh be ready to get your mind blown by this theory okay so theories have twists and turns so this is why Sandy the scientist learned about how these explosions happened. And that's why she came to the to Bikini Bottom to study the animals, how they live. Okay, this is where it all concludes up. So, so she stayed there for enough time, and then you know, you know, she started to make friends with SpongeBob, Patrick. She started to know everybody, and then this is where she just ditched her life back in Texas, back in the real world. So this is when she actually stayed with them. See with all the fish and things in Bikini Bottom, and that's why they all think she's just like a sea creature. So that is my ultimate SpongeBob SquarePants theories. Hope you liked it. If 